Right, now the thumbnail's out of the way. So the first thing I want to talk about is jackets. I'm going to start from kind of the thickest jackets to the lightest. So the first one is this Provis number. Um, this is a really good commuter jacket. I used to wear it commuting to work and it's got a really good like reflector thing at the back. You've probably seen it in my other videos. But this is the one that I would wear if it was like really brutally cold and I was going to and from work um, because it's not particularly like streamlined it is quite loose especially now I've lost quite a lot of weight so I would only really wear this if I was wearing loads of layers and I was commuting uh, I've not worn it for a while probably because I've not actually been commuting so that's the first jacket it's got some really good like reflector sections on it as well so that's why I think it's a great one to commute in second one is this one this was from Evans and it's their own brand it's called is it Garner? Oh, new. I don't know. Anyway, it's from Evans. It was about £50. And this one is like really, really thin and light. And again, it's not breathable. So it's a perfect one to wear in winter just because it keeps the warmth in. And obviously it keeps the sweat in as well. But that's what keeps you warm. So that is what I would wear. And that is what I have worn throughout all of winter. Because I tend to layer up rather than just wearing one thick layer. I just wear lots of thin layers. So that is the jacket that I've been wearing. It's got a really good pocket there, which I like at the front and then one on the back but I'll just show you the inside of it so you can actually see it's like a very thin very waterproof waterproof seams so perfect for winter rain but and the problem with both of those is because they're not breathable you sweat a lot so they're no good for summer so this is my summer rain jacket yes I live in the UK we have to have a summer rain jacket this is a Rafa one I mean this was expensive it was like 70 pounds I think um, but I do rate it. I think it's a really good jacket because it folds down so small. Like it fits into like the palm of your hand, so you can put that in your jersey. You can. I even fit it in my top tube bag sometimes in summer because I don't really like having stuff in my jersey pocket. Um, well, not loads of bulky stuff anyway. So that's that one. That doesn't have any pockets on the back though. There are zero pockets on this jacket. Just so you know, because I do love a pocket. Um, just for food and stuff, just for easy access. Maybe my phone keys stuff like that so yeah that's a good jacket if you're wanting a summer jacket just to stop light showers and it is fully waterproof as well and then we come on to gilets i was never particularly a fan of gilets until i bought one i was like oh my god how did i cope riding before without one oh sorry my nose is running a little bit so the first one is Provis. I absolutely love Provis stuff and it is reversible so you've got yellow side for in the day and this like reflective you can't see it in this light but it is kind of like a reflective you look like a, a white moonbeam um, when you're cycling along because it does pick up from um, car lights which I really like the safety aspect of this and that's why all my jackets are yellow because I want to be bright I want to be seen and yeah it's got pockets there there's a pocket on the back on the yellow side and that was probably about, I think it was like £35, maybe £40. But I really like that. Um, one, for Audaxing because it's not very big. And two, I like that it's safety, like, focused. And it just keeps you really warm. It's it's not as breathable either, so it does keep the warmth in. So I really like that, the, um, the gilet. The other gilet I have is more of a summer gilet. And that is just to keep the kind of wind off you when you are you know going down descents and stuff so it's just something that you can throw on quickly or if the weather changes it's just something quick just to throw on and keep the cold off your chest uh this is the hilari one uh high carb vegan and one thing that i really disliked about some gilets is that none of them had pockets so we made sure we put pockets on ours because if that's on the outside i want to be able to have my phone there i want like a cliff bar maybe or I want my keys there um, so that's something as well that we put on that one so they're both the gilets I think gilets are a good kind of um, what's the word transitional item so between like seasons I think they're quite good and handy to have um, because then you don't get as sweaty on your arms um, it is just mainly I found it's just to keep the wind off your chest so that's those put those back on the Let's keep tidy Katie and then these are the two main things that I would wear in colder weather. So 
they are both base layers. I have a thin base layer, this is a Nike one, Nike Pro, like a thin base layer, which I would wear if it was around, say, like five degrees, five, six degrees. And this is gonna be different for different people because we all have our own limits of, of how much we feel the cold. So for me, when it's five, six degrees, I always wear a thin base layer. If it's anything lower than like five, I always wear the thick one. And this one is an Adidas one. Neither of them are cycling specifically, they are just basic base layers. This one is fleecy inside, which is nice, keeps you toasty. And that is what I would layer underneath the rest of the stuff. So that's the first thing that I would put on in winter is one of those base layers. Then we come on to long sleeve jerseys. This is a DHB one. This is a live one. I will talk about the live one first. This was, I think it was 65 pounds. I think it was really, it was actually really expensive for what it is. It's fleecy also as well inside. And personally, I don't think it's worth the cash. I don't, I don't think the quality is as good as some of the other brands that are either the same price or cheaper. Um, but yeah, it's just a thin version of the purple one. This, however, is DHB. This was an absolute bargain as well. It was, I think it was 25 pounds. I got it in the summer a couple of years back. And it is, this is what I wear every single ride um, and layer it with other items, depending on what the weather is. I will always wear this. It's a brilliant jacket, I absolutely love it. It's got three pockets, it's got a zip. The only issue that I have with this jacket is the cuffs are slightly too big. So when I'm riding, I don't know, I've just got very little wrists. Who knows? Um, but wind goes up here, <laughs> so unless I've got a jacket over the top, wind travels up your arm, which makes you cold. That's the only issue I have with that, but it, I really, really like this jacket. So if it is really cold, as in like zero degrees, I would wear the thick base layer, I would wear the thin thermal, then I'd wear the thick jacket, and then maybe, um, the middle, the middle jacket over the top. I mean, that's if it's really cold, because then you get to a point where you can't even move because you just got so many layers on. Yeah, they are the soft shell and thermal, like fleecy jerseys that I wear. Now we're gonna come on to bibs. I have four pairs, and the only pair that I ever wear in winter are these. These are Castelli Nanoflex, as you can see there. Castelli Nanoflex, and these are claimed to be waterproof. I don't think they are fully waterproof, but that's just my opinion. But I do think they're a really good pair of tights. They were about a hundred pounds, so I mean they're not cheap. Um, they are also fleecy inside, so they are they are fleecy. They are warm. I do sometimes find that my thighs are quite cold in these if it is really cold. Um, and I also don't think the chamois is particularly good in this pair. Uh, but all around, great tie. I do all axes in those. I've done really long rides in them, so they have lasted up quite well. So yeah, that's them. My main summer bib are these ASOS ones. They are, I think they were called the T5 version. I can't remember which ones they are. The main thing I like about these is that amazing hook there, which means you can have a wee without having to take all your clothes off. So they're a really good pair of bib shorts. And the main thing that I love about these is you know like you get like the, the rubber strip inside um, on sleeves and on hems, on legs. I don't like that sticky stuff going all around my leg. I can't stand it. Um, and so these was one thing that I really liked about these. Let me try and get the camera up is look, they, they only have little sections of that rubber stuff. So I'm like, perfect, that is the best thing ever. And before I actually found this pair that had done that with these, um, with the rubber sections, let me show you what I did to my live pair. Look at this. I didn't even realize that was a thing with ASOS, but this had the rubber section all the way around and I hated it, so this is what I did. I basically cut sections out of the shorts so that, so that it was only one tiny little bit of rubber there. Can you see it? So basically just hack them. They've been a pretty good pair of shorts, to be honest. Um, yeah, wear those. They're almost like my, I don't even know. I, I don't normally wear them for Zwift just because they are a little bit, a bit knackered now. So that's that pair. 
final pair of shorts that I wear are these Hilarion pair and yeah they'll be coming out later um, in the year so for spring and they have don't, they don't have any kind of sticky stuff around the hem they are just like a thick kind of fabric not a thick fabric but they just kind of sit on your leg easier I like something to move slightly on my leg the chamois stays, stays put but I just don't like the things stuck to my leg I don't like it so that's that pair and then finally we are on to jerseys I have four jerseys first one is the live one that I bought that was my first ever kit and it's lasted okay I think it's a nice fabric three pockets at the back I mean what else can you say about that like that's just what I would wear in summer it's a good jacket I mean it's a good jersey that because it is slightly too big for me now well, it's quite a lot too big I would layer that with um, maybe the other live one if it's a bit chilly one day so that's what I'd probably wear in like autumn or spring so maybe that with that one my favorite jersey out of the lot is obviously the high carb vegan one Hilarion one um, that's also got those reflective strips on the back zip pocket so yes I just wear that all around I layer it up I sometimes wear that just with a base layer in spring um, or autumn again so yeah that's that one another vegan jersey the polka dot one vegan on the back same just wear that in summer maybe with a base layer and then finally new Hilarion vegan jersey that we are trialing out ready for spring so sneak peek of the new jersey and that concludes the whole of the wardrobe tour cycling wardrobe tour let me know what, what you think if you've got any questions about any of the pieces of kit or any other questions about anything cycling related mainly but I do hope it helps I find it really interesting to see what other people wear when it's cold I'm also going to do because this video has been quite long I'm going to do a separate accessories video on what to wear when it's cold or when it's too hot um, so I'll be doing that maybe next week so yes that is the wardrobe tour done so thank you so much for watching let me know what you thought of it in the comments below like it if you like the video subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you next video